everyone. <coughs> right, I've just finished work and uh, I've got a couple of boxes that came in today. Now, I'm just going to show you some of the things because I have mentioned before that my wire disappeared. I have lot huge, um, they're like two foot long wires that I do all my flower arranging with and it was all in a pack, like in a plastic sleeve and it disappeared sometime and I can't find it anywhere. But I did need the wire so I've had to go out and buy some more. And what I've done, my parcel came today and I've managed to grab hold of these different gauge wires um, for all my crafting. So I've got that and uh, these came as well, which you do your sprays with. Um, the only thing is, the one I've lost, I used to do the coat hangers with and things like that and the antennae, so it was a really good one as well. But what I've done and what I'm going to show you now um, in a minute are these. Look. Uh, I'm not sure how close I can get that, but I'm going to show you how to make them. They are absolutely gorgeous. All handmade. I haven't actually glued that on yet. I'm just, in fact, my glue's ready. <laughs> I'll just pop a bit of glue on there, swing that round, pull that in the right place. Like that. And I can just put a little um, bit of paper on the back. But isn't that gorgeous? And that looks great on anybody. I mean, it looked great on your lapel, your handbag, a head slide, anything. So I'm going to show you how to do it. <clears throat> what you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of leaves. I've chosen these. I've started to buy these in, these velvet leaves. I absolutely adore them. And um, they re look really posh in your projects. I'm stuck with glue again. You're going to need some wire. The thin wire. I've already started doing that one, but I'm going to show you with these beads because these are the beads I've got in the uh, shop. Um, and that's what's made that particular spray. Now, I could have used the green wire, but um, I'm just using this for now. So, your leaves, those, and now I've got this organza. Are oh, you going to need some of this garden tape as well? Now, I've got some of this organza. It's quite broad, so all I've done is I've just uh, cut a piece off and split it. So, I've already got the length I need for what I'm going to do. Uh, and then you're going to need a feather. Okay? And um, so I'm going to start and show you how to do this. So just take some of these wires, and I think I use five, so we'll make five of these. And you just pop these uh, through about an inch, bend it over, hold it at the top, and twist. And then as you're twisting, pull it out your fingers, like that. Like that. Like that. Not like that, just like that. <laughs> um... Give me a really good twist. Let's get some more wires. Like I say, about an inch. Start at the top and then as you're twisting, just pull them out. Like that. One more, I think. Like that. So then we've got five, <coughs> which is all I'm going to need. Now take two together, like that, and I'm just going to have them slightly away from each other. And then leave about half an inch and then twist. And just keep twisting like that so it's nice and neat. Okay. Then take another one again and we'll leave about there. Okay. And just twist that lot. And because you're using thin wire, Another one, I'm going to put there, slightly down a bit more. You need a good half inch here, 
and then twist it. And you can put them where you want to put them, but I'm just showing you how I've got them. And then take the last one, slightly down from that one, half an inch down to an inch, and then twist. Okay, just like that. And then what I'm going to do, because I don't, I know I don't need mine too long, it's only for a project, and snip that off. Get rid of the wire, because I don't like it messing uh, <coughs> well hanging about and then you just organize these to where you want them so I'm just gonna have mine like that okay that's good enough for me for what I want so that is that now all I've done next is this and when you get your wire your wired ribbon start it off on one end pull it go to the other end find where the ribbon is where the wire is and you don't need that bit if there's hang any hanging off mine wasn't quite been pulled through a bit too far just snip that off and then gather all of that wire uh, all of the um, ribbon up like that okay take the two strands together and pull that up as tight as you can this is thin wire again so do be careful And then just twist that, like that, and we'll snip that off. Then what you're going to do is play about with this till you've got it how you want it. I'm going to have mine like that. Now I have mine, oh, oh, sorry, I need my flower, sorry, I need a, fl uh, a little flower, sorry about that. I'm still waiting for my pearls to come in. I think that's the one that uh, the customs have got. We've booked it in to be delivered tomorrow. So, you need to glue on your flower. So, mine's just going in like that. So, this is just to give it a little bit of a ruffle. Okay. Then to that, when you've sorted out where you want all your ruffle to be I'll do fine to that then you need to glue your stem that you've just made oops I'm going to put mine up a little bit like that and then then you need to glue on your leaf leaves should I say so just glue that at the back let's fix that where you want it pull this down could have possibly actually just move that a little bit further down I am going to I think and then Let's fix that on like that. Okay. So then we've got that. And then just a little bit of pearl as decoration. That's all. Don't need much. <clears throat> and just slot that in this side, I think. In like that. And then take hold of your feather and because you don't need all of your feather um, just snip out that bit at the bottom about an inch and save that because that'll do uh, a butterfly take your glue take hold of your flower and pop that on the back like that all right Wrap that bit of wire that come from the organza around the stem. Like that. And then a little bit of tape. You don't need much. 
You can leave your stems longer. I choose not to because I'm going to be using these. Spend that back like that on a project uh, that I want a short one. So just wrap that round like that. You could do this first before you actually put it on. I just forget. <laughs> but it doesn't matter at all. Double wrap it. That's what I generally do. So it gives it a good grip. Like that. And I'm just going to try and get this to lay flat on that leaf, to be honest. Like that. Okay. And there you go. Let me push that. I don't like that there, actually. I'm going to move that. And put that further up. Much better. And it doesn't matter about them bits. So there you go. And you've made yourself two gorgeous, or a gorgeous. Um, let me just see if you can see that. I hope you can. So I'm plastering glue again. So you can actually lift them up a little bit more. But are they pretty? And they look great and fabulous on any project. You're just getting a totally different look all the time. With that. Make sure that squash is on. Okay. So that's one thing. Now, I'm going to show you these as well. Let me just put that to one side. Um... I've been mooching about looking for things and at the garden place I also came across this which is glitters, it's called pearl glitter this one. Now most of the um, garden centres or you know online garden centres that I saw had this in. I didn't know that these were so big for the price so they're well worth buying in. Um, so I got that one and I also got the purple. I do like them because you're getting a lot for your money. And we all know we need to spread our money out as much as possible. But like I say, so they're the glitters. These bottles are fabulous because you can, well, I can see a fairy in a bottle there. So um, I do have containers I might tip these into and use the bottles. So I do like those. I also like them because you can get inks. Now this is water dye. This one is green. This one is a red dye. And this one is a purple. And it's a whole bottle of dye. You get 150 ml of water dye. Now, apart from the fact that you can paint things with it, use this to paint your flowers, which you're going to save on um, inks, because uh, you can mix colours as well. If you have seen in my videos, I often buy inks if I can get hold of them, especially at car boots and that, if there's any uh, calligraphy inks and things like that. I always buy them because you can use them to make sprays. You can use, you know, um, glitter sprays and, and whatever. Um, but these, are, like I say, you can water these down and you can use these to dye your flowers, dye your material, dye your laces, whatever you want to do with them. And for that, I think that's quite, um, that's worth buying. There's quite a lot in that. I've bought half, well, bottles a quarter of that size for a lot less, uh, a lot more money. So, um, which I begrudge paying, haha, <laughs> as you know. But there you go. So, go along to the uh, garden centres, online garden centres, and have a look in their wedding section, because this is where it was, in the wedding sections at the garden centres for the flowers. And uh, lots and lots of glitter. A lot. I do like that. So I got those as well. <coughs> which I will be doing some more projects later on. So that's that. That's the glitter. I also got these from the same place. Now, you've seen these that I use. And these are so easy to make. You just need to make sure you've got the right feathers. Picks. Make your own feather picks. I bought these because they were cheap, but um, I'm going to dismantle them because out of that one pick, I don't need all of them. But what I can do is spread my cost. There's three feathers there. I only need that for a project. 
and so all I'm going to do is take my wire, loop it round really tight, like that. And that, oops, sorry, didn't catch that one, but never mind, I'll do it again. Pop it on there, <laughs> I didn't realise it didn't catch it. And now I've got two for the price of one <laughs> to go in my projects, because they're quite big. They're quite big, there's four on there. You can actually only use two, so I will be using mine sparingly. But they're nice for picks and you can make your own. So that's that. So I've got a box of those to do. Now, I'm going to come back in a minute because my box came from Chris. So I'm absolutely thrilled with. And, um, and a little parcel came for me um, that I'm absolutely thrilled with. Uh, which is... Um... Now, let me just say a name again. From uh, Debbie Chan uh, Ch Challoner, I think it's right, Debbie Challoner. Uh, I'm not quite sure where she's from, I can't remember. But uh, I do thank you very much for that parcel. The, uh, I'll be back in a minute and show it on its own. Thank you very much. See you soon. Oh, don't forget. Make your own. Bye for now. Beads at mine. Jennings 644 and Etsy. You can get them there. Speak to you soon.